Hey, how's it going? I'm Nick Gaska and welcome back to I Can Do That DIY for another doll repaint video. Today we're doing something very special and making a Christmas tree topper for my Christmas tree. Normally you would see a star or an angel, but today we're going to do a new take on it. We're doing a very homoerotic angel. Alright, let's get into it. Step 1. Doll Prep and Planning Today we're doing a boy doll and using a BTS doll. Here's what the doll looks like before customization. I'm going to start by removing the factory face paint with pure acetone and cutting the hair off. Let's get to removing the rest of the hair. Alright, we're going to start by dipping the head in some hot water to loosen up the neck joint. Then we're just going to pull off the head. Well, I'm going to try to pull off the head, and then continue to dip in the hot water to loosen up a little bit more, and eventually get it off. Alright, let's move on to getting rid of the rest of the hair. I'm going to re-dunk it into the hot water to loosen up the hair, then I'm going to scrape around with my metal tweezers and pull out the hair plugs. Awesome, that's all done. Man, this hair looks really nasty on the inside. Ugh, look at that. That's so gross. Step 2. Sculpting. Alright, let's start things off by giving him some head wings. Yeah, I think that'll look really cool. These wings are actually from an Avia Trotter doll. Let's just start by drilling some holes with my Dremel. Cool, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to do the other one. Alright, awesome, that should be great. Let's just see how these fit. Looking pretty good. But before we attach them, let's put the head back in the body. I don't want to damage them after sculpting, so I'm going to put the head back in the body now. I think it's just smarter that way. We're also going to be adding some back wings. Don't these look great? I 3D printed these earlier. I'll put links to the files in the description below. But before we get too into it, let's add some holes for those. I'm just going to grab my Dremel and go at it again. Alright, we'll be attaching the back wings later on. Alright, let's attach the head wings first. I'm going to mix equal parts of epoxy sculpt and use it to stick the wings onto the head. Make sure to wear gloves when you're doing this because epoxy sculpt can be toxic. Actually, most of the tools and supplies used are dangerous or toxic. This hobby is actually more meant for adults or people with adult supervision. So be very careful when you do any of this and use the proper protection. Alright, awesome. Here it is after I finished sculpting and let it cure for 24 hours. I also went ahead and sanded the body off screen. Now let's just space out these wings with some white paint. But before that, we're going to protect the face and body with some plastic wrap and some painter's tape. Also a little scotch tape as well. We're just going to wrap them up until it looks something kind of like this. Cool. Step 3. Repaint. So here are the wings after a couple coats of the spray paint. But I'm never really happy with the opacity so let's add a few more coats of acrylic paint. After that, we're going to paint the scalp yellow. Then I'm going to move on to working on the face. I'm going to grab my dark brown watercolor pencil and start on the general eye shape. Then we're going to move on to the iris, which is going to be a light blue. And 
and then contour and shape with some pastels. I'm going to use the light brown pen pastel to contour the eyes and the nose. I'm also using a clean brush to wipe away any excess. Then we'll add some highlight with some white pastel. We'll highlight the nose and the eyelids. Now we're going to highlight the cheekbones. We really want them to pop. And of course the chin and the forehead. After that let's start using some pink pastel for the lips. And on the inside of the eyes as well as using it for heavy amounts of blush. I want this angel to be very androgynous. Then I'm going to add a little bit more white pastel to the wings. After that, I'll use my light yellow pastel to blend the wings into the hair. I'm also going to be adding pastels to the tips. I really want the wings to have a sense of luminance. So I'm going to put down a layer of light yellow, then we're going to follow up some gold, and then glitter at the end. On the next layer, I'm going to continue to work on the eyes. I'm going to add some white watercolor pencil to the sclera. Alright, let's add some more opacity to the irises. Now let's darken up the eyeliner with some black watercolor pencil. I'm going to do the top with a black watercolor pencil, and then do the bottom with a dark brown. Then I'm going to blend it with a light brown watercolor pencil. Then I'll add more detail to the eye with my light brown watercolor pencil. Then I'm going to add some depth to the irises with my dark blue and light blue watercolor pencils. Alright, now let's start working on these brows. I'm going to base them out with the light brown pastel. I'm just going to brush on and refine the shape with an eraser. We're going for a very thick, lush eyebrow for them. While I'm at it, I'm going to continue to contour the nose. And then move on to the other side. Flipping the angle around can really help you achieve symmetry. After that, I'll highlight the upper and lower eyelids with my white watercolor pencil. and continue to deepen up the eyeliner with my black watercolor pencil. After that, I'm going to finish the under eye with a light brown watercolor pencil. Next, let's move on to the lips. I'm going to add some color to the lips with my light pink pastel as well as my light pink watercolor pencil. And we're going to deepen up the darker pink pastel. I'm also going to blend out the Q-tip. Now let's add some more highlight. We're really going for a full beat today. I'm going to continue to highlight the cheekbones and the forehead. After that, I'm going to highlight the jawline. On the next layer, we're going to continue to work on the eyebrows. We're going to add hair texture with various shades of watercolor pencil. Of the eyebrows with some pastel. And then continue to build up color and definition in the lips.
Alright, now let's add some lower eyelashes with a very sharp black watercolor pencil. We're going to continue to highlight the face with a pearlized mica powder. While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and add some to the wings as well. Now I'm adding some light blue pastel to the irises. After that, I'll continue to highlight the face with a white pastel. And then add a little bit more pink pastel to the inside of the eye. Alright, now I'm adding some white acrylic paint to the square as well as adding some catch lights. And now we're going to make these irises super special and add some blue glitter glue. I'm just squeezing some out and then very carefully applying it with a pin. Let's make these catch lights a little bit bigger. That's pretty good for the face for now. Now let's add some gold tips to the wings. We're going to use a gold metallic acrylic paint. Then we're going to follow that up with some gold glitter glue. If there's one thing I know about holiday decorations, it's that the more glitter, the better. And of course, I can't get enough of this glitter. So let's add some to the eyelids. Alright cool, that's pretty good for the head. Now let's move on to the next step. Step 4. Hair. Here are the wefts I made for the hair off screen. I made them using a mixture of cream and yellow acrylic yarn. We're going to start by gluing a weft onto the front for the bang. We're going to cut and trim as I go. Now I'll continue on to the back and work my way up. The hair wefts are super long right now, but they won't stay long. He's going to have a short, spiky, anime-inspired haircut. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm using my eyebrow razor to trim as I go. And eventually I get to something like this. I'm pretty happy with it. Step 5. Body. 
Okay, let's attach those wings to the body with some super glue. So we're gonna put some glue on and hold it into place. While I have one wing on, I realize it'd be probably a smart idea to drill a hole for the stand later on. So I'm just going to take my Dremel and drill the hole. Now let's move on to the other wing. Oh my god, while they were drying, I knocked them off the table and the wings snapped off. I had to glue them on like four times because I kept breaking them off. It was a real pain, but uh, here they are. We're going to put a lot of epoxy sculpt to secure it so it doesn't happen again. Alright, so we're just going to slather this epoxy sculpt on and blend it into the skin. Cool, that looks pretty good and super secure. I'm going to set it aside to dry and let it cure for 24 hours. Then we're going to do base coat on the wings and the epoxy sculpt with white acrylic paint. After that, I'm going to do the same thing I did for the head wings. We're going to do a base layer of pastel, and follow it with gold acrylic paint and glitter glue. And while I do that, I just have to say thank you so much for watching and all of your support throughout the year. It's been a great year and the channel's really grown. Thanks again for all the support and happy holidays! Also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel and helps the video get up to more people. Also, feel free to follow us on Instagram at icouldothat.diy and at Kawaii Dollies. The Kawaii Dollies Instagram is a little bit more doll focused and has a lot of my old work, so check it out. I'm going to do some body blushing with my light pink and white pastels as well as my pearlized mica powder. After that, I'm going to seal the body with a layer of Mr. Super Clear, and then finish off the wings with the gold glitter glue. After I get the wings nice and glittery, I'm just going to set them aside to dry, and then it's time to move on to the next step. Step 6. Outfit. So for his outfit today we're making some very revealing armor. It's going to be made out of warbla. Here's the warbla, and here are the patterns. I'm just going to trace it out and then cut it out. I've always found it really funny that in video games and manga and cartoons when female armor is really minimal and kind of would do nothing. It's really hilarious and we're going to do something inspired by that. After I have everything cut out, I'm going to start with the shoulder pads. I'm going to mold it around this wooden bead I wrapped in plastic wrap. I'm just going to heat up with my heat gun, and then mold it to shape. Cool, that's looking pretty good. Now let's add the next piece. I want the shoulder pads to have a layered look. Awesome, it looks great. Now we're going to add a little strip to the top that's going to hold a jump ring. I'm just going to heat it up and then wrap it around the jump ring. Then we're going to stick it onto the shoulder pad and then add the back jump ring. Awesome, that looks great! I'm going to make the other shoulder pad off screen. Here they both are. Now let's just add a strip to connect them. We're just going to do it across the back. Now that those will actually stay on the shoulders, let's move on to the crotch and hip armor. 
I'm just going to heat this up and stick this on and then mold it to shape. Then I'm just going to cut off the excess and then add the hip armor. The process is very similar to the shoulder armor, and I'll have two layers as well. Here's what one side will look like, I'm going to do the other side off screen. But the center front is looking a little bare, so let's add some detail. We're going to add a strip down the center front, and then a ring to add some chain later on. We're also going to add a ring to the back. After that, we're going to add some bicep, wrist, thigh, and ankle bangles. Once everything is ready, I'm going to do a base layer of gold acrylic paint. I'm going to take the shoulder pads off to do that. And for everything else, paint directly on the body. After it's nice and gold, time to add some more glitter. And as I was glittering, I went a little glitter crazy and decided to add glitter all over the body and more glitter to the face. They're going to be so sparkly, it's going to be amazing! I also added some glitter streaks to the hair. Ah, it looks so good! Of course, their armor is not sparkly enough, so we're going to add some gold rhinestones. I'm just going to add some glue, and then plop on the rhinestones. Ooh, so sparkly. And of course their nipples need protection, so they get some rhinestones too. And to finish off the outfit, we're going to add two kinds of chain. We're adding some chain to the top and the jump rings, as well as to the bottom. Awesome, this looks so great! Now let's move on to the next step! Step 7. Finishing touches. Alright, let's finish up this doll. Let's give them some gold glitter nails. I'm just going to base it with acrylic paint and finish off with the glitter glue. After that, I'll gloss the eyes and lips.
Step 8. Doll Stand. To start off the doll stand, we're going to use these brass tubes I got on Amazon. I'm going to use three different sizes. I bent the smallest one off screen and it's just going to fit into the other one. One is going to be for a Christmas tree star and one is going to be for a stand so the doll can be displayed year round. Let's just glue in the smallest one to the back. It's pretty deep in there, but for additional security we're going to add some epoxy sculpt. And then of course blend it in with some gold acrylic paint and some glitter. Here's the magnificent tree star we'll be using today. I picked it up at Target. We're going to adhere the next metal tube to it with some epoxy. I'm using a 5 minute Gorilla Glue epoxy. It does need 24 hours to cure. I'm just going to squeeze some out and then mix it up. And then put it on and then add the tube. After that I'll add some painter's tape to secure it into place while it dries. And while that dries, let's work on the other stand. I cut out a 5x5 piece of pine and then routed the edges. I'm just going to measure and mark the position for the tube. Next, we're going to drill out a hole for the other tube. And just sand it a little bit to make it smooth. Then we're going to measure and cut the tube off screen. Next, we're going to add a little painter's tape to the bottom so no glue seeps through. Add a little bit of super glue, and then add the tube. And you guessed it! Next, we're painting in gold, and then adding some glitter. And after everything's all dry, both stands are complete. Step 9. Doll photo shoot. So here they are, here's the final result. I'm so happy with how they turned out, I think they look amazing. I really love the androgynous quality of this angel, and of course all the sparkle. I don't really think we can call them a holiday decoration without there being a fair amount of glitter and sparkle. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm also so happy with the versatility of this doll. I love that it can go from the tree to a stand. It's really awesome. So yeah, obviously here they are on the stand. I'll show you what they look like on the tree later on. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Again, thank you all so much for watching, it's been an awesome year! I'll definitely be doing more doll stuff in the future, so stay tuned! Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas! Everyone stay safe and healthy out there! Now just enjoy this amazing doll for the rest of the video! Thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy Holidays! Bye!